In his sophomore season, the Mavericks striker is making a name for himself throughout the area, scoring five points and two goals over Central Catholic on Tuesday night that helped McCutcheon to an 8 0 win. Nettie Pacheco is this week's Athlete of the Week. Um, I just feel like it's not just me, it's like the whole team. We all contribute to it equally. Uh, we play the ball fair, like we're all good with it. We can move the ball as a team. We're not selfish. We can just play it and keep moving on from that. Pacheco may be young, but he understands what he brings to the team. I bring some leadership skills. I can also be a goal scoring threat and try and move the ball and lead us to success as much as possible. Head coach Boyd Wheeler says the sophomore striker's presence is invaluable to the Mavericks. Nettie's just a pure offensive threat on the pitch. Uh, he is non-stop working all the time. Uh, he was our leading goal scorer last year as a freshman. He's our leading goal scorer right now. Um, he's a humble kid, which is a, a great thing to be able to coach. Uh, he's team captain as well. So just a, uh, just a great kid, great asset to have on the team. Pacheco told me that he and his teammates are fortunate to have a coach like Wheeler. Uh, he's a very good coach. I mean, he tries his, his hardest with us. He puts all the effort he can into us, and he's always, like, motivating us, trying his best, putting, like, the team that he thinks is the best. He's always just doing, like, what he can possible to help us out. He's a very good coach. Uh, we're grateful to have him. While there's still room for improvement, Coach says the young striker keeps the opponent's attention. Hey, he's only a sophomore right now, and he continues to get better. Um, you know, he's always got opportunities to improve. We always work on things with him. He's he, he's a threat. They they know coming into a game that they're gonna they're gonna watch him. Motivated by adversity, both Pacheco and Wheeler have some high expectations come tournament time. Um, I'm really hoping we can pull the sectionals off. Uh, although it's been difficult, we've lost to our rivals. I mean, I really hope that in sectionals when it, when we can face them, we just crush it and all all the matches that we have in there and then advance from there. We're just trying to, to build and continue to get better and hopefully peak at the right time come sectionals. That wraps up this week's Athlete of the Week. The Mavericks will go head-to-head -head against Lafayette Jeff tomorrow at home at 7 p.m.